rental car I came here in. Nifty cheap. There's a chain hung between these concrete blocks. The chain's not doing anyone any good. I'll take it with me. A skull and crossbones says more than a thousand words in Turkish. turned around and back to front before I've started. I'll take a look around first. Garbage. Experience has taught me to go through garbage thoroughly because you find useful stuff all the time. A bicycle spoke. To the untrained eye, it may appear useless, but since it was in the garbage, we experts know that it will prove invaluable. completely empty. But from the outlines on the walls, you can tell that a lot of equipment was being stored here. Heavy bars cover the window. Anyway, I doubt there's anything useful still inside. It says Mehmet Terem. No idea who that is. The police, or whoever was here, did a thorough job. I won't be able to get in there. Emre Dardogan. The door is blocked up and sealed off. I need some pretty heavy equipment to get in there, but then there wouldn't be much left of the cabin. Obviously used as office space and obviously ransacked already. All the filing cabinets are open. The floor is covered in paper and all that's left of the computers are a few cables and screens. Someone did a thorough job. A barred window. Without an angle grinder, there's nothing I can do. A crack under the door. I can't reach far enough under the door. Maybe I can pull something towards me, there. Max's name is on one of the snippets. I have to know. I have to piece them together. Fax from Emre to Max, with a cell phone number and research results. If I understand it correctly, then the temple complex they're excavating was buried on purpose over 10,000 years ago. Strange. Why would someone do that? Aha, uh -huh. looks like Emre asked himself the same question. His examination of the sediment layers from the period indicated severe crop failures, but only in the vicinity of the temple complex. The scientists have excluded the climate as the cause. The crop failures were too local for that. Strange. A fax from Emre to Max, with a cell phone number and research results. If I understand it correctly, strange. Aha, uh -huh. looks like his examination of this. The scientists have a... The cell phone with Emre's message.
Emre's cell phone number was with the documents, maybe I can get him there. Max! Finally, I was getting worried. Emre? Emre Dardogan? Who is this? And how the hell did you get your hands on my friend's cell phone? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm Nina. Nina Kalinkov? Max's fiancé? Right. Where's Max? Max was... kidnapped. What? I watched it happen. Damn. It must have something to do with our research. Emre, I need to know everything. What research? Who kidnapped Max? Probably the same people who came for me. We're onto something incredible. Can we meet? No. We had an earthquake at the Potbelly Hill dig site. I'm cut off from the surface. Well, as it happens, I'm here too. I witnessed the earthquake firsthand. Maybe I can help you. Okay. It won't be easy. You have a plan? You can't reach the underground part of the temple complex without the elevator. And I've got the only key. The elevator is at excavation lot C. There's a map of the complex in my jeep at the entrance. Stupid question. Why don't you just come up here to me? I did mention that I've been cut off from the elevator, didn't I? There's a drill somewhere up there. You'd have to use it to drill a hole through to me so I can give you the key. And another stupid question. Where am I supposed to drill, for heaven's sakes? This complex is enormous. I'll use my cell to record a video of this room and send it to you. Uh, perhaps there's something in here that will tell you where I am on the surface. In any case, I smell oil. Maybe start with that. I'm sending the MMS to you now. Less than one battery bar left. Fingers crossed. I've got the MMS, but I'm not getting through to Emre anymore. I've retrieved the map of the dig site from Emre's car. Emre sent me this MMS from the temple room with his cell phone. The video does give me something to go by. I have to find out where this room is located and how to get Emre out of there. The loud fluttering noise I heard in the video was made by bats, I think. Emre mentioned that it smells of oil in the chamber. The video that Emre sent me shows a pile of rubble in the chamber. Maybe I can use that. I could hear an engine at some distance in Emre's video. The question is, what kind of machine does that engine belong to? Hmm, I distinctly saw reliefs in the video. There were tree roots coming through the ceiling of the chamber Emre is in. Solid rock. I wonder if this is the part of the temple that Emre's buried in. The ground is red here. Some kind of clay. I'll take some of that earth, just for the hell of it. I can put up with quite a lot as far as carrying things is concerned, but that drill is just way too heavy for me. If I need it, I know where to find it. A rugged gasoline-driven rock drill. seep down through a crack. Yes, that could be what Emre's smelling.
Yep, that might be the engine I heard in the video. That might be possible. The tree's roots are probably old and long enough. Looking about, this is the only place that seems logical. The sound of pumping, the tree roots, and the smell of oil. I must be in the right place. Okay, this is the spot. I'll get the trill and try to bore through. Maybe I can still get this key from Emray. Hey, Nina! Good job! Have you got the key? Max wasn't exaggerating. You're really capable. Did he also mention my dog of determination? Have you got the key? I'm afraid it's not that easy. There's a good few meters between us. Uh, we need some way to get the key to you. All right, I'll think of something. Emre? Yes? I'm lowering a chain. Attach the key to it. All right, I've got it. Pull up the chain. I've got it. I'm on my way. Be careful. The key for the elevator to the lower levels of the dig. I need a key for the elevator. A basic elevator connecting ground level to the temple excavation below. gonna find down here. A mining helmet. A locked wooden box. A mining helmet with ventilation holes. A locked wooden box. That must be the bridge Emery talked about. The earthquake has collapsed the bridge. The crack goes all the way up to the surface. I can see moonlight shining down. A high pressure cleaner. We did a lot of silly things with one of those when we were kids. One dude lost an eye. The pressure gun is connected firmly to the compressor by a hose. Someone excavated an ancient relief with a high pressure cleaner. Looks like they were real professionals. Okay, I'll go back up. That should work really well. What do you know? The box contained a hammer, a pipe wrench, and an empty plastic bottle.
always good to carry some water. I've crushed the earth into powder. I managed to unscrew the pressure gun from the compressor hose. I'll load the red dust into the pressure gun. I've screwed the pressure gun back on. Where to put it? The hose is long enough. That might work. All right, let's see what happens. The dust was blasted upwards through the crack in the rock. Okay, I'll go back up. According to my markings, the ruined bridge should be right below me. Wipe it away after it took me so long? No. The shaft fits through the chain links perfectly. The hammer should prevent the chain falling down the hole. The chain is firmly fixed. Hmm, not really my area of expertise, but all right. Everything okay? I'm all right, thanks. Whew. I thought it was curtains. So what do you think? What's the story with Max? No idea, but if this place is why they took Max, then God help him. Why? What have you done? You don't know. This temple, it's the find of... Well, ever. It's been buried all this time, but you know why? It wasn't natural causes. This place was buried on purpose, on a massive scale. And here's the catch. Max discovered radioactive isotopes. Nothing dangerous, but nothing you could put down to chance, either. Explain. Max thought it had something to do with the fate of the people who lived here, but his theories were unfavored. He put all his energy into finding fresh evidence. If he could unearth an untampered with specimen, he'd have definitive evidence that contamination took place 10,000 years ago. What are you proposing? Neanderthal nuclear war? Unthinkable, really, I know. But Max was convinced that his theory was right. Stubborn mule, isn't he? So did he manage it? Has he discovered anything? Yes! Did he find new evidence of radiation? No. But I have. Impossible! Everything okay? That symbol. I... never mind. Let's get on with this. Right. We need to find the mechanism that opens the gate. Do you think what's behind there has something to do with Max's kidnapping? I'll bet my degree on it. Look at this. Wow. Impressive. 
massive. What are all these animal symbols? No idea. Some of the symbols are abnormal. There seem to be mistakes in the way the animals are drawn. But I can't see how that's supposed to help us open the gate. So what do we do now? Shall I wait while you come up with something? Archaeology is not for the impatient. Diagonally opposite us is another slab that sinks when you step on it. Go and stand on it for a moment, will you? All right. You see, I know the system from Derinkuyu, a legendary underground city in Cappadocia. Now, all we need to do is step on the slabs in the middle in turns. You start. All right. Which one? Wow, made it! Take a look at this. What is that? It's an underground system. An irrigation and canal system built over 10,000 years ago. Sensational! Can you see that glow? Want to bet that what I'm looking for is in this system? What are you gonna do? Jump in? No, I still enjoy life. Somehow, I need to get the Geiger counter down into the water to do some measurements. Ah, good. Well, you can feel this one, champ. A strange glow is coming from the water in the cistern. Jump in there? No way. Long, thin roots. I can't pull the roots out with my bare hands, they're too tough. A Geiger counter for measuring radioactivity. My knife. I'll tie the roots to the Geiger. The roots are long enough and the Geiger counter secure. I think I can get a measurement. I knew it. I'm getting a reading on the Geiger counter. This place hasn't been touched for thousands of years. The radioactive material must date back to then. How is that possible? How should I know? But it might explain why the people left everything behind. We shouldn't stay here any longer than necessary. Too dangerous. I've got my evidence. Let's get out of here. Let's find Max. We need to get out of here. They'll be here any minute. Okay, let's go. Shh! Did you hear that? Shit! Quick, get to the car! Do you know who they are? No idea. I just know they're after us. Why was Max interested in Potbelly Hill? Early history isn't his field. Good question, but actually he was interested in a number of ancient civilizations. His notes may have some answers. There's a box in the trunk stuffed with them. Emre? Emre? He's... gone. 
Wasn't he strapped in? I have to get out of here. Damn, the belt's stuck. God damn it. The switch for the interior lighting. Looks reasonably intact from the inside. The door's stuck, but I could climb out through the smashed windshield if I wasn't strapped down with this belt. There's a plastic container. It might be a lunchbox. I can't reach it. Now I know why it's called a seat belt. You're sure to stay seated. It's not releasing. The latch must be broken. I'll have to cut myself free. The steering wheel. I can't reach it. A nodding Elvis. I prefer Mac the knife. I've never seen a glove compartment that actually had gloves in it. Locked. A radio. I really don't feel like listening to the radio right now. I seriously doubt that people actually keep their spare keys there. A comb and a parking desk. What I could really use right now is Emory's pocket knife. I seriously doubt that people actually keep their spare keys there. Let's see if I can pick the lock on the glove compartment. I can. A long comb with a long handle for people with short arms. The disc shows 11 hours. A folding rule. Got it. Emory's lunchbox. Please be a knife, please be a knife. A sandwich and cutlery. A fork. A bread knife. Nothing more to say about it. A sandwich. Forget your figure. It's good for the soul. Freedom, I'm coming. That must be the box of Max's stuff that Emery's been holding. Let's see if its contents will help me. It still works. Luckily, these things are pretty hardy. The waste paper basket is empty. Straight to desktop. I'd better not change any of the settings. The My Computer icon. The Control Panel icon. The Waste Basket icon. The icon for the email client. The Desktop Search icon. The icon for the My Pictures folder. I wouldn't know what to look for. I'd better not do that. The browser icon. I don't need to surf the internet right now, even if it were possible out here. The My Documents folder icon. Interesting, but not really useful. The games icon. I'd better not do that. The icon for the email client. Let's see. Email. The most recent mails are from a Cicero 63. I came across your article in the forum. So, you occupy yourself with civilizations who worship the circle. You wonder why they vanished. I might be able to give you an answer, but not by email. I fear I am being watched. And why do I pick you? Because of your work on the Nebra Sky Disk. Daring and extraordinary. We must speak. Cassandra has made a discovery that will change the world. That was the last email, but Max saved something in that contact. Cicero 63, Anderson, San Francisco, Palace of Fine Arts, Restore. A restorer? How did he find out? And what's this talk about an all-knowing Cassandra? Hmm, Max also entered an appointment. He made it 3 p.m. on August 12th, Palace of Fine Arts.
the Nazca Lines, Stonehenge, the Quiquilco Complex, the Nebra Sky Disk, all records on lost civilizations, and circular, every one of them. But what's that got to do with Max disappearing? The 12th, that's the day after tomorrow. I have to find out what Max wanted with this restore. I'll have to hurry though, San Francisco's a long way away. My name is Chesley B. Sullenberger, and I'll be your captain for this flight. To your left, you'll see Istanbul. We're headed in the direction of Amsterdam now. From there, we'll travel directly to San Francisco. Our flying time will be about 16 hours today. My crew and I wish you a pleasant stay on board with us. 16 hours. I could fall asleep on the spot, but I have to use the time and look at what else there is in Max's notebook. Early history, ancient history, the Middle Ages. Max was looking into all eras. Strange. What is that? The burning of the library of Alexandria. Max found out that some of Archimedes' scrolls were destroyed in the fire. No one knew what they contained. Max conducted more research. He discovered entries in the diary of the Marine and the Merchant. 8th of May, 1375. The sons of my brothers have found something in the dried up riverbed near Alexandria. An emperor, like the one scholars use, it is well preserved. And this year, my brother has forbade the children to open the emperor. He thinks the scholars will pay good money for it. 27th of August, 1475. My brother has set off with the caravan to the land of the infidels. He has taken the emperor with him. We pray to Allah that it will bring a good price. 4th of December, 1476. The Nile has flooded its banks twice already. That is how long it has been since we heard from our brother and Nasir. What has become of him? His caravan returned home long ago. One of the merchants said he had last seen him in Florence. What now? This has to be a dream. I was expecting your master, boy. Where is he? That must be An Nasir, the Arabian merchant Max mentioned in his notes. He is busy. But he asked me to assure you that he is interested in the amphora. Empty promises will not feed my sons. I am here to make a deal, not to talk. How much is he willing to pay? My master will pay you whatever price you name. But he must see the amphora beforehand. Give it to me. I will take it to him. That must be the amphora, the ancient vase that survived the burning of Alexandria unscathed. It seems this Anasir wants to sell it on in Florence. All right. I know your master well. I've done business with him many times. You are wise to trust him. If the Amphora pleases him, he will reward you handsomely. I have to follow him. I have to know what's inside that base. If Max was occupying himself with it, then it must contain something important. Halt! Stay right there! What? Who? Do you mean me? Do you see anyone else? Yes, I mean you, swine! Hmm... They don't seem to see me. Why? What... what did I do? You're a thief! You stole an amphora! Where is it? By Allah, my sons found it far away from here, in my homeland. It belongs to me. I'm only going to ask you once. Where is the amphora? Where did you hide it? Wherever the amphora is now, it is none of your business, infidel. Let me go! You obviously misunderstand our business. You will be more understanding once we demonstrate to you its nature firsthand. Damn, the boy with the amphora. He's gone. And Nasir is my only chance. Only he knows who he sold the amphora to. That's where the guards went with the merchant. Damn. Locked from the inside. All right, let's summarize. I'm in medieval Florence. It's nighttime, it's snowing, it's terribly cold, and it's all just a dream. But even though it appears that no one can see me in this dream, I still can't walk through walls. I have to find a way to discover who the merchant sold the amphora to. The amphora's contents seem to be part of the riddle that Max was working on. I have to know what's in it if I want to see him ever again. 